G'day, Mark again from Phase Change Converters. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to our two series of converters. The one that um, a lot of people are familiar with, in fact thousands of people are familiar with around Australia, uh, is our Phase Changer series. Our all singing, all dancing model that's got the microprocessor control in it, nice tight face to face voltage, all the protection devices on it. Um, our, our, what we call our premium product, or probably the premium product on the market as far as converters go. Been very, very successful over the years and, uh, and, and used extensively. However, we do know that it, there are, is a price point where it makes it hard for some people to buy them because we are selling a premium product. You know, um, we can't sell it for very low prices and sometimes that makes us uncompetitive to some of the imported products that might be on the market. So, what I'm going to do now is introduce you to our new range called the Face Change Junior. So that's this one here. Now I want to just go through a couple of the differences. The Face Change Junior is a rotary converter but more of a traditional rotary converter. It doesn't have the multi-stage display, uh, multi-stage voltage um, matching which varies under load, doesn't have the hard start capability of the phase changer. But for the hobbyist or the person operating in, uh, from a home workshop um, on shorter periods rather than every day, um, this could be a really good alternative. It's significantly cheaper than the equivalent in the phase changer, right? Um, but it's still actually quite capable. And again, as I said, it's aimed more at the hobbyist market and we're pricing, I think, from around about $1,000 upwards. So it's something that's a lot more affordable you know, uh, than the entry level uh, face changer unit. Okay, so the one we're looking at to face change junior for, this is rated to a maximum output of four kilowatts or five and a half horsepower but we would rate the starting load at about 50% of that. So a hard starting load, like a lathe for example, um, I would probably only go to around about a 2.2 kilowatt lathe on this unit. But you could have multiple machines, multiple machines running up to that four kilowatt rating. So that's one difference with them. Um, simpler unit, not the tight voltage control. So we might have plus and minus um, 30 to 40 volts on the generated leg compared to the incoming um, reference legs, uh, whereas this one will be within 5%. So it's a lot tighter. So, but again, for a lot of applications, this is, will run it perfectly without any, any trouble whatsoever. Okay, so when we, we were talking these ones, I would probably be more inclined to, to more simple machinery, like single motor machinery might be a, um, a mill or a, um, a lathe, not so much CNC controlled stuff. If you're going CNC controlled, I'd definitely be sticking with phase changer. Anything with the electronics, I would definitely be sticking with phase changer. If it's just, you know, a straight motor application, uh, contactor control, um, the phase change junior, will probably do the job quite adequately for you. The instructions are all on here about, you know, the uh, installation which we put on both units on the front. This unit does not have a display at all. Uh, it's just purely a start stop. By default, it's just a circuit breaker input protection and a three phase output breaker and you can wire directly to the machine. We can option it with outlets and we could can put safety switches, but they are options on all the junior series, okay? Um, but it does have all the standard um, electrical safety stuff, circuit breakers, thermal overloads on there. All right, so I might just plug this one in and start it. So there's the converter running now. So running about 66 dB around there. At Face Change Converters, we make two series of converters now. The Face Changer, original Face Changer series, which has obviously been improved in over the years, and now the Face Change Junior series, which is a low cost entry product, more designed for the hobbyist market. And we go from this series um, 
all the way from one kilowatt through to 11 kilowatts in, in, in that series. So uh, certainly please just give us a call, talk to us about the application and uh, we'll point you in the right direction of which way to go. Um, also remember that phase change converters are Australian made, we are part of the Australian made campaign. We stick to Australian made, we make them here in Pakenham in Victoria. Um, we've been doing this for a long time now. Uh, we understand machine applications and you know we provide a lot more than yeah, here's your box. You know, we know how to talk your applications and what's going to be right for you, what you want to run. So give us a call and we'll be able to help you.